With apologies to Jeremy, Jeremy, who sadly couldn't make make it to American Hustle because he really, 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 really wanted to. Uh, it's just us two again. Yeah. Because I have no idea where Matt is. I just yeah. don't. But yeah, we just saw American Hustle. <clears throat> it's one of like the big Oscar contender movies of the year. I don't see it. Hmm? I don't. Yeah. I, I don't see it. Was it was it going to be the uh, what category? Well, best. Oh, but, well, no, they are thinking about Golden Globes. Well, oh, oh, I best, get them mixed up. But yeah, it's good, like it's one of those things where, like, you know, every, every critic, almost every critic loves it. It's on, it's like on some, somewhere in most people's like top ten, or it's like top twenty or top fifteen of the year. Yeah, I don't year. see it. it. Has a big pedi- ca- uh, Oscar pedigree. I don't see it. Uh, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it is a good movie, but it's okay in my mind. Uh, it's, it's like I won't say it's bad, but I won't say it's great. Either. It's pretty funny. There are some good. There are some really good lines. The cast is. I think it's like uniformly solid. Like almost like there's not a single weak link in that entire cast. I think the worst you'd say about the cast is like Jennifer Lawrence is too young for the role. But even then, like I, like I love her like. Uh, her very sassy attitude, but also her ditzy like way of thinking. And I also love her hair. Her hair is just confused. All the almost everyone's hair in this movie. You can say almost er- something about everyone's hair in the that girl's movie. girl's hair. Yeah. The, the boy's hair was pretty static. It was the girl's. Well, hair. come on, like that. The entire like entire first two minutes of the of the movie were dedicated just to uh, uh, hair. Christian Bale's comb over. Hair. So, what do you want to talk about? I like the okay. I already said the casting is perfect. I mean, you, I mean uh, you, we're we're trying to stay away from plot as much as possible because Evan wants. To. I we assume like if you want, you know, like it's it's one of the big Oscar movies, and if you watch it, you probably have a, you have a pretty solid idea what the movie's about. Uh, the trailers are a bit more vague, but it's basically, uh, I'm gonna have to break the rule again. <laughs> we just established. Uh, Amy Adams and Christian Bale are basically this uh, uh, cup, this con- this con artist couple who get uh, who in the middle of a con get uh, caught by uh, um, Bradley Cooper's character, who's a federal agent, who decides to uh, get them to work for him, so that way they don't go to jail. And he had this big conspiracy about New about this New Jersey mayor, and then escalates all the way up to members of Congress and the mafia. Yeah, and comedy and vague, vague hygiene, vague uh, uh, high. It's like it's one of those like heist, sort of like these like heist movies where like everyone's everyone's double crossing each other towards this thing for their own different goals, even though they're, they're sort lovely, of, uh, confusing movie. Yeah, yeah, well, and it was kind of weird too. It's like it's like, for an, this is an R-rated movie, but like as court, you want to say court? Oh, okay, yeah. I was telling Evan before this, it's rated R, but you know just how like in video games they say like M because of violence or language. Well, this is R, just pretty much because of language. There really isn't anything else to it. There is a lot. They curse a lot in this movie, but like for a movie like that's in the seventies and involves the mafia and it's like CIA. I expected a lot more sex and violence and drugs, and all I got was a lot of language and well, a lot of sexuality. But like, nah, nah, nah. We had like the best thing about this movie, and in terms of at least an acting levels, is uh, Amy Adams and Jennifer Lawrence. They're like the movie's secret weapon. They are absolutely like probably what probably because they go well, all the guys like Jeremy Renner, Christian Bale. Uh, Bradley Cooper, they all do good work. Uh, like I love how Jer- Jeremy Renner is like the mayor of uh, New Jersey, and he plays off this very like very uh, naive, naivete, innocent tomboyish look, like feel to him. And uh, Bradley Cooper and uh, Christian Bale, they play off each other's like like two sides of the same coin. They're both effectively con artists, except <laughs> one's like power hungry and very reckless, and the other one's very careful, ca- like almost too careful to really change anything. Mm-hmm. And they play out like that dynamic works very well. And uh, the way Amy Adams and Jennifer Lawrence uh, in the movie, it's like she's Christian Bale's wife, wife, but she doesn't come in for like another like twenty or thirty minutes into the movie. 
This is like they're both like sort of very. They're both kind of very ditzy, very deductorous type woman. None of them are really femme fatales. Fatales, but uh, fatales. But they always seem to like they're one step ahead, even though they even. In the way, in a way, it's like Amy, like uh, Jennifer Lawrence. She messes up. She like keeps starting fires. That's that's a bit. That's like a bit of a, a running joke in that movie. And she says she's the smart one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like I my favorite, that. my favorite line, like in the movie that describes her character, is from Christian Bale. Is like she's she is the Pablo Picasso of passive aggressive karate. <laughs> that line made me. That, line, that that was a great line. But uh, and um. Amy, again, Amy Adams is very uh, playful, seductress type. Who, who, like, again, she's a con artist, but like, con artist who like masquerades as this Lady Edith of uh, of London. In, well, England, London, yeah. In, yeah. So, what genre would you categorize it as? Uh, it's a crime. It's it's not exactly a thriller. Or, Cause I mean, because honestly, there's like there's not much. I'm lost as to where what it should be. I mean, I don't I don't know what it is either. It's but... primarily a comedy because there's is a lot. It? There's a lot of laughs. Our theater is like definitely not as much as Anchorman too. No, no. Nah. They're 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 <laughs> older. They're different. They're definitely an older audience. There wasn't there wasn't like any other teenagers. Well, it's an R-rated movie. I would expect there would be few teenagers. Well. Well, I see a lot of kids. I see a lot of younger people at R-rated movies. To be honest, it was like this is the cat like they love. You know, oh, I'm 17 now. I can go watch R-rated movies. That was me, like this year, like at the beginning of this year. It's like yeah, but, but I it's like this is the kind of crowd I go to when I go to see movies, like at the West Park, or like all the indie theaters uh, with my dad. I, it's like this is sort of the crowd I usually see. See, like a bunch of like more like middle-aged people in like the theater. But uh, I have a... I think there were some college kids there. Too. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, <clears throat> what is it actually? What is its actual genre? I think it reports itself. I think on it's a crime thriller, but it's, but because it's David or Russell, like who I did uh, um, the four novel films I know him for sure. Know him for is a uh, is a uh, of, well, of course Silver Linings Playbook and The Fighter. The Fighter was I was okay with. I liked it. Uh. Silver Linings Playbook. That's a great movie. I think that's a great movie. Uh, other the other two films. I think the he's done best at is a uh, Flirting with Disaster, which is a fantastic. I think it was a fantastic uh, 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 comedy. That's as, probably as far as mainstream as he as he ever got for direct, for his direct his taste. And Three Kings, Three Kings, which I uh, yeah, I heard Huckabee was weird, but I thought it was fun. But again, like this is like, like that, that sort of like speaks to like the the way he directs movies. It's very, it, it, it sort of blends. It's it blends different genres and plot lines and ideas into and like concepts into like, so it makes one whole story. But you can't exactly nail like the exact tone it's mm-hmm. going for. But you can you can say like it's sort of consistent in its own way. Yeah, so because this it does have a story, it does have a purpose, but mm. yeah, because like yeah, especially the way it, it has like the family dra- the family the family drama aspect that the fighter had. It had sort of those romant those romantic aspects from uh, *Seven Lines Playbook*. And I think it has more of the bigger laughs, laughs and the comedy bits that from uh, so, *Running with Disaster*. So that's all it makes. Yeah. It's all mix. Mm. So it's very it's it's a tough one to call because it, it, you probably like you uh it's it is worth saying because it, it's like it's in it's way in the way it's kind of divisive it's about it's kind of like it's parts of it feel uh I don't know I think it's maybe I think it's mostly just us because one guy the guy like. Well, a lot of the people, like the guy, like, I like the, that one guy that I always like. The guy Flat was on f- twice and stop. Slow clap would, three times. No, no, it was twice. He'd okay. always clap twice. It was anything that was he thought was funny. He'd like burst out. He'd clap twice and then just stop. Hmm. Only guy that clapped ever. 
I think there's like a couple of people. No, I don't. I, I didn't hear anyone else. I expect that at the end of the movie, everyone would go applaud because it's an Oscar movie. Yeah. That's sort of like everyone just kind of got up and left. Yeah. Everyone that left, at least there were some people that stayed. Yeah, we left before them. <laughs> so it's nice to, it's nice to be in a movie where we don't have to sit through the end credits. Yeah. Because I like, don't get me wrong, I like end credits scenes, but like, you know, watching the back to back to back, you get, you get to like, sort of test your patience. So, you know, this review, of course, is coming from two younger viewers, so Why, some well, older, more experienced viewers may uh, have some different opinions about this. They probably, I think if you're, an, like, the, an older audience would probably dig this a lot. Uh, probably. Because everyone was like, la- like everyone was laughing at the gaudiness of the look of the 70s. Was it the 70s, or... 80s. It was like 79 or 76. Yeah, 76, I think. They had Mafia. <laughs> yeah, and they mentioned Watergate and uh, Nixon. They did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I missed that part. But yeah, like, they're, again, they're, like, I think a lot of the comedy, some of the comedy comes from, like, just the strange look of everyone in the movie. Is uh, like, uh, again, the first two minutes of uh, the movie is just dedicated to. I think it was longer, but you know. It's just dedicated to how, because like, really, a uh, Christian Bale's character is basically bald with like, very big. Well, he's one of the. He's the bald where it's only the top part of his yeah. head and not like the. And you go through. You see this whole bit where he has to comb and then put like he, a goat. Uh, nah, he, he has to put the f- uh, fake hair on. For, oh, it's f- fake hair. I'm trying to remember. He puts the hair that isn't his on. I'm trying to remember the name too. <laughs> Your IV students should know this. No. Why would I be students? Need well, like this have a vocabulary. Screw vocabulary. But um, you know, I get by on my limited vocabulary every on a daily basis. Who needs those SAT words? Anyway, okay. and then uh, Bradley Cooper has like this weird uh, fro hair that like you could like it, that makes him look like Charlie hmm. uh, And like everyone has a mustache, but everyone has like a mustache or, or, or a beard. Yeah, some type of like Louis C.K. Uh, Louis C.K., Christian Bale, Bale, uh, Michael, Michael Pena, uh, Bradley Cooper, everyone yeah. except Jeremy Renner. But he has this, this ridiculous, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not exactly a mullet, but it's halfway there. Yeah. So, there's some good laughs in yeah. this movie. I think it is, like, it's... I'm just trying to wrap it up, you know, because... That, there is some good laughs. In, there is some good laughs in this. There is some really good scenes of, of like sort of these inter these gr- great interpersonal like dr- this inter uh, relationship drama between the different characters. Yeah, there is, uh... and the cast really. And I think that's mostly uh, to the credit of the cast. Who all, I think all of them nail it out of the park, and they all make this movie very, very like seem and feel engaging, as, even though if, you know, if you had other people that weren't as good, you wouldn't have a gr- as great of a. Movie. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be engaged. Yeah. Because like I, I was mean, engaged. Because this isn't like exactly the most. Even though it's supposed to be a thriller, it's not the most enticing video. Yeah. That I've seen. But uh, but like. The cast makes us feel engaging, even though if, if yeah. you if you don't feel engaged, or at least you, you don't think like about the plot if you're not engaged, the characters will make you, the characters and how the actors portray them, they'll make you at least feel engaged because they these are actually pretty interesting people, people and like how they people and how they react to each other. It's like Christian Bale's character, he grew up, his father, he grew up in this glass building, in this glass. Uh, Glass business, and his after his father got into some financial trouble, he decided to like, well, I'm gonna drum up business and just break every every window in my entire neighborhood, and that's how I grew up to be a con man. Yep. But uh, similar backstory with uh, Adams there, but Amy Adams. Yeah, yeah in the movie. Similar backstory there, but well, she just started as a stripper, and then she she, she she I think she started as stripper as a stripper, and then went to work at Cosmopolitan. And I think she became a fat uh, as a secretary, and I think she became one of their fashion fashion models, and then you they somehow meet. It's weird. Somehow at yeah. some party that they don't ever go into detail mm-hmm. with. But yeah. I think. Uh, and then they also meet some other guy that was at a party, and he's like, "Hey, can you pretend to be <laughs> some guy?" Spoilers. 
This movie's okay. This movie has good. This movie has a good cast and some pretty decent writing, but I think mostly <laughs> acting. It'll get written for acting. <laughs> Trailer talks is next. Bye. Watch. This, you can probably probably watch this movie. <laughs> now. <Nah. laughs>